Hey, I don't remember how I did this before, but uh, we're going to use Windows Media Player to do this. Um, this uh, is my Moho Transfer Vehicle. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you know that uh, uh, I ascribe to the philosophy that anything worth doing is worth completely overdoing in every sense of the word. So here we are. Um, I am going to narrate this launch. I, I couldn't do it live because this ran at about two frames per second. Uh, so this is the launch of my Moho transfer vehicle. Playing at eight times speed. Now, uh, this, I use a, a well, I, I, I should say it's, it's pretty much identical to the way that I launched uh, my uh, my super carrier. I used the fuel from the carrier. Well, no, I guess I didn't in the carrier. I held it for last. In this, I'm using the, the fuel from the transfer vehicle first, and I'm going to refuel it in space. Um, really, I'm just trying to get the damn thing into space because uh, this thing's way overbuilt because I really don't know how the hell else to do this. Um... And uh, I am playing this in the uh, the Tech Tree version, which means that uh, Gerbil Engineer isn't working at the moment. It does actually come back on in a bit, but uh, I I don't have all the bits I would have liked. Not not this early uh, in the Tech Tree, so this is overbuilt in every way, shape, and form. But you know, that's me. That's how I do this. So basically how this is going to work is the central fuel tank, which once these uh, boosters up top go, you'll notice is quite substantial. It is going to drain entirely before I start dropping any of the boosters, and that's to uh, lower the overall weight of the package, which is uh, the transfer vehicle itself. And that is because it is already exceedingly top heavy. <clears throat> if you're wondering, it is going to carry four different landers. Um, each can bring back their science. I haven't fully figured out how the science works. You know, with like the science lab, can you store all that data? So I'm going to actually bring four separate landers um, to land in different places in Moho, and then I'm going to bring all four of them back. Depending on how much fuel I wind up when I get there, I might have them do multiple landings. Indeed, I brought tons of extra extra mono propellant despite the fact that uh, this thing doesn't even have a mono propellant system. If you're wondering what's going on here, it's like a lot of my asparagus, asparagusing systems. They run off the internal fuel first. There's always one of the four um, that runs out of fuel after all the rest and it screws up everything unless you let it go early, which unfortunately means you're letting it go while it's still burning. Luckily, uh, and this was sheer coincidence, I didn't design it with this in mind. You'll see when I ditch it um, purposefully before it's out of fuel, just by luck it launches past the vehicle and goes out of it, goes out of my way. <clears throat> you see I'm trying to time it perfectly here. And uh, it will go off like that and in one fell swoop basically neutralized the whole problem of for no good reason whatsoever one of them <laughs> running out of fuel later than the rest which if I hadn't let that go you see it's still burning it would have still been burning attached to my rocket um, and it the fact that it still had fuel would mean that the next stage would still have fuel late and it would burn um, longer than all the other stages and the way I stage each consecutive stage tends to be shorter than the last which means that each consecutive stage would have had more and more of uh, an effect on the rocket and it would have been catastrophic indeed the first uh, launch of this was catastrophic although it, it, it wasn't entertaining enough that I, I bothered to keep it unlike uh, on the Lincoln 16 where the failures were just gorgeous just totally worth keeping. And you see, the second that uh, those go, 
it's orbital insertion time. Now, uh, <laughs> this entire time, I, I'm going nuts, because this very barely gets into space. Um, it, it may look like the margins wind up being uh, not too bad, but they are really slim when you actually consider the entire vehicle weight of this thing is as high as it is. And, of course, Kerbal Engineer doesn't give you any sort of indication of how heavy it is because it doesn't like big vehicles. It really doesn't like things as complicated as this. But, uh, but this is about the only way I know how to do things in this game. Just build it really, 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 really big and then slap rockets onto it until it gets into space. This was, I believe, the fifth attempt to get this thing into space. And indeed, uh, something this big, you, you can build it with a specific design in mind. But uh, y you really do have to design it from the get-go with the idea of how the hell you're going to get something this big into space. No, that, that that I just pulled that totally out of my ass. The Lincoln 16, I, I I I built girders out of it so that I could attach rockets. But as far as the the staging goes, I didn't have that plan until I launched it. So that that's total BS. You can build anything you want, provided it's strong enough. You notice I have ridiculous amounts of these these bits in here. These bits just take so much structural abuse. I mean, they make struts seem weak. The, these girders here, and you build anything out of those, you build anything with that as the spine, basically, then all you have to do to get into the space is just keep slapping more and more rockets onto it until it makes it there. Now, if you're wondering um, why I'm lowering the thrust, it's because uh, I do uh, watch the time to... I, I follow the time to apto, ap, apoapsis rule. You get that up to about a minute, and then you lower your throttle until that number is going down and then you raise your throttle until it's back up to a minute. Now at this point obviously I slammed it right all the way because uh, it was ready to be done and this is the point where uh, the actual uh, sped up clock uh, does me a service because tick 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 I'm almost out of time but yeah so I, I take all the remaining fuel from the stages and then I do something really really sloppy and that's, uh, I leave all the remaining stages in orbit. Uh, there's no way I could have gotten into orbit without uh, these stages. It just was never going to happen. But uh, I don't need them anymore. And I don't think I'm in a position to take them back into an orbit. Um, but uh, here's the actual propulsion. 12 nuclear engines. Um, that'll move something this big yeah, fast enough. Now here I was going to try to raise the orbit, but uh, there's a craft I needed to dock with, so. Anyways, thanks for watching. Also check out the link in 16.